Hey everyone. So recently I have been grinding for the Skeleton Curse, and during all of those PvP encounters, my friends and I have had an argument about which loadout is best, whether being a Sword Lord or Double Gunner wins the most fights. And I know a lot of people out there are probably just getting into Sea of Thieves because it is on sale right now on Steam and free with Xbox Game Pass. And with Season 9 having just came out, I thought that it would be great to do a comprehensive review of every loadout in the game. And let you guys know what's best for your playstyle. So let's get into it. The first loadout I want to go over is the most common for new players, which is Sword Flintlock. This is a loadout that each player is given when they first get the game, and it has a lot of advantages, but also many disadvantages. The sword has a 3-hit burst combo when close range, and has a long-range lunge attack that has a quote-unquote catch-your-breath moment that freezes the player in place if you missed your target. This loadout is the best for those who just want to help in the combat, but don't want to get too involved quite yet. With the flintlock, however... The flintlock is a mid-ranged weapon with the fastest reload time of all the guns and can also be fired crazy accurately, non-ADSing and ADSing. It can also be fired faster with animation cancelling, either by manipulating the original X keybind for PC players or changing your stow and drop bind to scroll wheel down, which is how I have it. The gun is overall very good, but the animation cancelling cannot work sometimes and there are times where firing is mainly choppy this happens when you're either panicking and you're in a close situation and you're flying your freaking camera all over the place and you're trying to shoot and you're trying to shoot and the gun won't shoot absolute pain in the ass so i would be careful with this loadout but this is mainly the most versatile loadout in the game sword blunderbuss is a very good runner up with the blunderbuss being a 10 shot shotgun like weapons that fires 10 shots that each do 10 damage and when adsing can either one tap or instant kill anyone in front of you but the weapon does have poor range and can jam very easily paired with the sword this loadout is best for those who want to get down and dirty in the combat they want to have their face in the middle of everything and they just want to go in and just start murdering to end with the sword duos Next, we have Sword Sniper. Sword Sniper uh, is not the best loadout, in my opinion, and the reason why is because the Sniper, or the Eye of Reach, is a long-distance sniper rifle that has a very long reload animation, and although it can be shot well and accurately, it cannot be shot well without ADSing. Without ADSing, the bullet goes everywhere. As you can see there, it went up into the flipping roof. And when paired with the sword, this loadout is used more for people that want to participate in the PvP, but don't want to get too close to all the action. Next up, we have double gun loadouts. The first one I'm going to go over is the least common one, which happens to be the pistol blunderbuss. Now, this loadout isn't common because although the pistol has its quick shot and very well thought of accuracy... The bl and the blunder provides a lot of damage, it is just weird to use in most situations. You're pairing up a mid-ranged weapon with a short-ranged weapon. You can't shoot somebody from your ship to theirs. You can't shoot across anything. You can't ADS that well, other than using the iron sight. And the blunderbuss can't even shoot that far. So if you're trying to shoot someone from a long distance, you're basically fucked. Next we have... The sniper pistol this is mainly used by very experienced players and because it takes a lot of game sense and skill to be able to hit your shots quickly and accurately if you're new to the game i would stay away from this loadout for a tiny bit due to the fact that this is based off of skill of quick scoping and based off of skill of movement and last but definitely not least we have my favorite loadout in the game which is Eye of Reach Blunderbuss. Now, this loadout is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best loadouts we could have. The reason why is the sniper is a long-distance rifle, like said before, which allows you to snipe people from across boats, from across islands, from across, you know, maps like this, across scenery, allows you to hit your shots accurately. And the Blunderbuss is good for the close range. So if somebody's charging at you with a sword, you can easily switch to the Blunderbuss, Go ahead and one-tap them. If there's a teammate, you can pull out the sniper, try and shoot them from a distance. Overall, 
It's a very versatile, very well done by the developers. This has to be probably the best loadout in the game, at least, again, in my opinion. But, again, it all matters on personal preference. This one is the loadout I use the most just because whenever I am PvPing, I usually am the person on the boat or boarding. But whenever I'm on the boat on cannons, again, the ladders are always going to be right next to the cannons. So if I need to, I can easily do a little bit of damage on them with the sniper, run up here, and then finish them off with a blunderbuss, having them eliminated and sit through the long-ass uh, Fairy of the Dam times. So the question still remains, what loadout is best for you? Well, to tell the truth, the answer is, is it's based on your personal preference. Again, each loadout has its own unique style of gameplay, and I believe that only time will be able to tell you which loadout is best for you. A tip that might help you as well is if you're getting into the PvP style of Sea of Thieves, then I would recommend basing your loadout off of what position you play in your crew. For example, if you were the boarder, I would recommend either a sniper and sword paired with a blunderbuss. If you're on helm, I would recommend sniper and pistol, mainly so you can shoot the other helmsman off and kill him. And you can maybe substitute uh, pistol for blundy, but that's only if you're on a brig where the ladders are close to you, or maybe even a sloop where the ladders are literally right next to you. And for someone who is always on the boat but is on the cannon position, or a, you know, a flex position, I would recommend Sniper Blunderbuss. Easy, easy to knock off people on ladders, easy to go and add damage from a long distance, easy to stop people from being able to sink your anchor. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Now, I also don't want anyone to take this video too seriously. I am not a pro by any means, but I felt like I have been playing long enough to at least put in my opinion on the matter. And if you have any questions, then I would recommend commenting below because I will respond to every comment and question you have for me. And if you want to come hang out, get to know me a little more, and come check out more of my content, most of my videos are recorded live at twitch.tv forward slash Dean and Green, so I would probably go check me out there. I mainly do PvP styles of Sea of Thieves streams with a little bit of variety. But I hope that everyone has a great rest of the day, and be sure to stay green and tune in the next stream, and I'm out. Thank you.